Oh, there you are, YouTube. So today we're gonna do a random ranking, and what that means is I go to my movie collection behind me and pull out three films with my eyes closed. I pick those movies at random, and then I rank them from most favorite to least favorite based on a variety of things. So let's get to ranking some movies. Eyes shut, uh, maybe something down low. Something over here, hey, there's Superman. Eyes are shut, I'm not peeking. All right, gonna set that down. Then maybe something back here behind Watchmen. Don't wanna knock over that. Ooh, okay. Oh, that one I can tell has not been opened. And then maybe something low in this area. These are not in alphabetical order, by the way. So there we go, let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. First, Kill Bill, ooh, sorry for the glare, Kill Bill, Volume 1, followed by The Box, which is still in its packaging, but I have seen this. I just got it for like a dollar on a Black Friday or something like that. And then Jane Fonda in Barbarella. So let's get to ranking. Okay, so this is the order in which I showed them to you. Will they stay in this order? Okay, let's see. Um, what do I want to start with? So these two, both of them, I have only seen one time. Kill Bill seen, I don't know, 10 times, something like that. Quite a few times. Um, so let's get to the ones I haven't seen as much. Barbarella, classic science fiction, Jane Fonda. And I mean... I just, I remember it kind of being out there, definitely a product of its time, and kind of, I mean, look, I, look at the box art. The box art is enough to want to watch this movie, and that's probably why I bought it, and I, I you know, heard about it. It's obviously a part of the culture. Um, Jane Fonda, you know, is definitely a queen of the cinema, and streaming now, uh, but I just... Yeah, great sci-fi, fun sci-fi, but very, you know, like B-grade, purposefully so type film. The Box, again, I have only seen this once, and I remember it, you know, being fine. It like makes its point maybe a little too heavy-handed. Um, you know, it's sort of like a, a, whoops, sorry for the glare there a moral lesson that they're trying to provide, and I don't know, a lot of, you know, good actors. Actually, I don't care for Cameron Diaz much and stuff. I do like Frank Langella and uh, Cyclops over here, James Marsden, but I don't know. I really don't have much to say on it. It's just like heavy-handed when it comes to, you know, the story, the cautionary tale that they're trying to tell in a way. So I think this definitely goes ahead of the box. So where do we put Kill Bill? Um, Quentin Tarantino, great director. Kill Bill, great story. Uh, Kill Bill Volume 1 versus 2. You know, I, I don't know. I, I like them both. I think, I think, you know, it's been a while since I've seen both of them. You know, probably, I don't know, two, three years. And when I make my judgment on which one I prefer, one versus two, is usually right after I've seen them both, you know? But otherwise, afterwards, once some time has passed, I, I think I like them both equally. Uh, but that's not what we're here for, not to compare the two Kill Bills. Set th the goal here is to set them up against, set it up against these two movies. So I think this one has amazing action, amazing callbacks to old films, um, films that I, you know, wouldn't necessarily be aware of if it weren't for Kill Bill. So that's kind of nice for broadening my cinema um, knowledge, uh, especially in martial arts films, because that is definitely a genre which I am very weak in, because to me, growing up, martial arts films were... You know, the Ninja Turtle movies, the the Three Ninja movies, these uh, Surf Ninjas, and, uh, you know, movies like that. So, um, this movie, along with my stepfather, really gave me uh, sort of an introduction into other martial arts films. So, that was kind of nice. Um, 
So yeah, I think obviously this is number one. I don't even know why I'm acting like it. It could go anywhere else. Kill Bill, Barbarella, and then the box. A little heavy handed, great B style uh, sci-fi starring uh, Queen of the Cinema, and then a great martial arts film that, um, you know, had a pretty big impact on me uh, in terms of, you know, broadening my horizons and, and helping me uh, learn a little bit more about cinema, which I think Tarantino is very good at. So yeah, there we go. This is the order in which I like these movies. Kill Bill, Barbarella, The Box. Have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three of them, how would you rank them? Thank you so much for watching this video, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.